Welcome to Jane Lou, West Virginia, an adorable small town in Lewis County that has a legacy of hard work, military service, and community. My wife and I had spent the night in Morgantown and were on our way to Atlanta for a couple weeks with our family. A break was needed. The name Jane Lou was intriguing. So we pulled off of Route 79 and hit the gas station. We were met by a handful of veterans in the middle of the road taking donations. We slowed, stopped, and when I showed them my Disabled American Veterans card was met with warm smiles and hellos. The military is a great family. Jane Lou is an hour and a half east of Parkersburg and under an hour south of Morgantown. Access is pleasantly simple and just a short hop from the interstate making it ideal for those who commute or like us passing through. In the likelihood that you have never been to or heard about Jane Lou, here are a handful of interesting tidbits about this busy town. Here you will find two industrial parks, the headquarters for DOS Enterprises, the headquarters for All Service Realty, a number of restaurants, a couple of heating and air conditioning service companies, a home improvement center, laundromat, quilt shop, and more. Pretty impressive for a community of only 409 people. Here's another item you might find interesting. In town, there is 32-year-old Chelsea Rorbra who has has gone viral on the internet for the charitable offer of having other people's troubles and issues tattooed on her legs. Do you struggle with depression? On her leg it goes. Trouble with speeding or gambling? She is there for you. Jane Lou is also the birthplace and was home to author William Neely, who was born four days before my dad in 1930. Mr. Neely was a writer famous for his book Stand On It by Stroke Ace. I would recommend reading up on his life. He was a fascinating individual with a unique exposure to racing. Did you know that Jane Lou was the name of the mother of the original owner of the town site? Now you know. Jane Lou Park in the center of town is accessible by car, bike, and has this convenient footbridge. Come on, how many towns have a cool footbridge like this? In the park are a couple walking trails, basketball court, not two but three baseball fields, a senior fitness center, two picnic pavilions, and playgrounds, accommodations for reunions, parties, and all reasonable gatherings. If you're into canoeing or kayaking or even fishing. Hackers Creek runs through town and just south of ways of town is the West Fork River and the Stonewall Jackson Dam. Here's a fun fact. I live 1,035 miles north of Jane Lou on the Canadian border and my property is split by none other than Hacker Brook. Hackers Creek, Hackers Brook, why we're almost related. As I mentioned, there is the convenient Jane Lou Park, but want to add that this past Christmas was the beginning of a new tradition for Jane Lou. Christmas in the park, with food, music, games, crafts, displays, lights, and a safe environment for the kids to be kids. The town of Jane Lou was once the site of West's Fort, which was built to protect the early settlers from the natives when they got restless and dissatisfied with the newcomers. The fort was built on the elevated area overlooking Hacker's Creek. The lookout gave a 360 degree visual advantage. The Jane Lou Volunteer Fire Department is led by Fire Chief Mitch Oldaker. I sure hope I pronounced that right, Oldaker. And a host of committed firefighters, support personnel, and chaplain Edsel Smith. Congratulations to Bobby Stewart for 20 years of service and to Michael Barnett for handling a whopping 394 calls, smoking, literally smoking, his competitors. Congratulations, Jim and thank you for your service. For schools, residents here send their little ones to the Jane Lou Elementary School. Middle schoolers attend the Robert L. Bland Middle School in Weston, and the big kids go to Lewis County High School in the Bendale area. 
I have to say, for the short time we were here, the community of Jane Lou was warm, friendly, and inviting. We had to make it to the Airbnb in Roanoke, Virginia, so we had to boogie. Otherwise, I would have loved to stay and had lunch and enjoy the culture here. Here's a question. Do you want to see more videos like this? Well then, please hit the subscribe and the like buttons, and we'll see you on the next video. Thank you for watching.